everyone, my name is Crystal and I'm an independent Sensi consultant. So I'm super excited today. Sorry if my video is so late on this, it arrived late. Um, so I have September's, uh, I was gonna say Sensi Whiff Box. Um, with the Sensi Club, uh, when you have $80 worth of products in your cart, um, you get to choose an item of your choosing your choice, whatever you want to say, uh, and you get it half off. So for the month of September, I chose to get the Whiff Box. I didn't watch any videos. I didn't see any spoilers. I have no idea what's in the Whiff Box this month. And I kind of like it like that. It's kind of hard. Sometimes I want to see what's in the box at the beginning of the month of those who get their box at the beginning of the month. And I want to see what's in it, see if it's worth it, if it's something that I want to get, and then I can order and get it. And then other times I just want it to be a big surprise. So this time here, I decided to go for a surprise. Um, I, I must say, though, I'm kind of curious about next month being Halloween and everything. I hope they do a Halloween theme. We'll see. So this is September's Scentsy Whiff Box. Let me know if you got it this month. Let me know if it's the same as what I got. I don't know. It's the end of the month. Like I said, it's late. So my products may not be exactly like your products. Um, that can happen. But it's uh, $40 Canadian plus taxes and shipping. But there's always more than $40 worth of product inside. So I don't get it every month. Um, Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends. I can't remember when the last time I got a whiff box was uh, maybe three, like my last Scentsy Club order. I remember getting some, some bricks. Uh, I think I got the Sunkiss Citrus brick at half price. So maybe it was a Scentsy Club before that. Or maybe I had watched some videos, saw what was in it, and had to buy it the last time. But anyways, it's nice to have that option. So if you want to just order it as a one-time thing, you can order the Scentsy Whiff box. Or you can put it in your club and get it every month, every other month, every three months. It's up to you. So enough yammering about this I just I want to get into it I waited long enough we're now into October obviously so I'm late so here's the box it's smaller than it usually is usually it's a bit bigger box but hopefully you know doesn't mean anything sorry I didn't mean to like stare into the box. I just for a second I thought, is this October's box? But I don't know. I think this has to be September's box because it came with my September Sexy Club. Maybe it's just in preparation for um Halloween. So, because basically what made me kind of just stop and stare at my box was uh okay. First things I see. Oh, I see. Okay, so I got two flyers. It's the Harvest Collection flyers. Um, so I'm assuming this is, yeah, this is September's box because the, the Harvest Collection released in September. Um, so um, I got one in French, a French pamphlet, and one in English. So that's nice. I'll get to uh, look through that or pass that on to some of my customers. I've got, oh, I love this scent. I got a scent circle in pumpkin cinnamon swirl. This is a good one. If you like bakery, if you like some spice, uh, you're going to like pumpkin cinnamon swirl. To me, it, it kind of smells like um, one of those um, uh, cinnamon buns that are frosted there. But, you know, throw in some pumpkin in there. That's, that's what I get. All right. So I'll put the box down here. I just don't want to shake everything. Uh, next up is... Oh. Oh, I'm excited about this. Oh, okay, I'm so excited for this. Um, now I'm curious to, to, to see if everybody got this or not. So with the Harvest Collection, they uh, released a three pack of hand soaps. And if you've watched some of my videos, you know I find the hand soaps a little on the pricier side. So I tend to um, not get them very often. And I'm super happy that I got a hand soap in my whiff box, but I'm also super happy of the scent. I got the hand soap in Bright Cider Life. I love this scent in the wax form. Um, this scent was part of the last year's Gorgeous collection from the three pack of bars in the Harvest collection. Uh, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I got this. This is perfect, perfect time of year. I'm going to open this up and I think I'm going to go put it in my kitchen because that's where I'm uh, usually washing my hands the most. So Bright Cider Life and the hand soap. Uh, I'm trying to think how much the hand soaps are normally. I want to say like seven. I don't, don't quote me on this because I don't know. But I know the three pack of hand soaps was... I think they're still available, but they're in the 20 something dollar range, Canadian wise. Um, so Bright Cider Life is Spiced Harvest Cider, Pumpkin and Red Apple. I wish they would put the description, uh, the scent description of all the products on the wax bars, everything. Let me know if, if you'd like that too. Now, this one here, at first I got excited because it's pods, but I want to say like four years ago, whenever I got my, my Scentsy Go for the first time, I had tried pumpkin roll in the pods. 
I like it in the wax, love it in the wax in fact, but for some reason in the pods when I had got it going, I did not like it at all. I did not like it so much that I gave the pods away for free to somebody, whoever wanted them. I just gave it away. So I, I'm going to try it again for sure. I'm definitely not going to prejudge, but uh, last time I didn't like it. So let me know what you think of pumpkin roll. Is it just me or is it different than the wax? Because I loved it in the wax form, but in the pod form last time, it was a no-go for me, so we'll see. I'm a little nervous to sniff it now. That smells good. That smells really good. Pumpkin roll. Oh my god, I hope I love it this time. You know, your, your nose changes. Your scent preferences change. Hang on, let me open this one. I want to see if the uh, Bright Cider Life soap smells like the wax. I hope it does. I find usually they're really good with the uh, having the scent smell the same. Oh my gosh, I thought there was like a big mark on my face, but I think it's the, the, the way the lighting in the, is hitting. All right. Let's see. I want to make a big mess here. All right. There we go. Now. Daha, okay. Uh, a lot of people seem to have issues with the soap pumps. Again, there should be, I feel like, just a little sticker, like something bright yellow being like, hey, remove this. Because a lot of people, I remember um, a lot of my customers who bought the hand soaps were calling me and going like, it's not working. I can't pump. I can't. There is a little clip around right here. See the little thing? You got to take that off. I didn't even know that the first time I ever got hand soap. See? It comes right off. Once it comes off, then you can pump it no problem. I remember uh, my mom called me in a panic saying that the soap, I can't pump the soap. And I went, oh my God. So I went over there to check it out and I couldn't figure it out. And it was because that little clip. So word to the wise, there's a little clip on the hand soaps. Like I said, a little yellow sticker saying like remove would be nice. Oh my God, this smells so good. Okay, I'm going to go check. <laughs> Now I gotta go check and see if that three pack of uh, soaps are uh, still available, how much, and what's the other two cents. I wanna see if it's worth it. I wish I could get the hand soap in my Sensi Club, just this one. I doubt it though. Anyways, Bright Cider Life. Like I said, let me know if you got September's Whiff Box and if you got these products. There's something, okay, so there's something in here, so I don't know what's in it. I'm gonna leave that as a surprise. Oh. Oh, okay. So I ended up getting a fragrance flower in the new scent Orchard Apple and Spice. It's part of the Harvest Collection. It's one of the new scents that they released and it's in the Buttercup Bell. So there's two styles of fragrance flowers with Scentsy. There's the Buttercup Bell and the Darling Dahlia. So it's just in the design of the flower. Uh, apparently they're all handcrafted and I'll just open it up because I... I'm going to be opening this up and putting this. Usually I like keeping the, because the fragrance flowers, if you've ever used like reed diffusers or anything like that, they're not like super, super in your face strong. So I like to keep these in the bathroom, just right above. I have a little cabinet right above the, the toilet. And um, I find um, I like them best in smaller, smaller rooms, smaller areas, that kind of thing. So when you open up your box of diffuser, you're going to see this. I remember the first time I had a fragrance flower, this was like hidden underneath everything. So I'm glad it's kind of out in the open so you see it. So I'm gonna stop waving that around. Then, okay, there's the little instruction paper. And this is what the inside looks like. So you've got your oil. Just pop that off. And I'll just show you inside. It's got the little, I don't know what those are called, but uh, the box is empty. So I'm just gonna put that aside. All right, so um, the bottle of oil, as you can see, looks like this. So once you pull that out of here, there's another box right here, and you can see the like the wick coming out. Reminds me of those oil lamps. If you've ever, I don't know if you're, <laughs> maybe you're not old enough to remember, but um, my parents had some um, antique oil lamps that still worked. And uh, I remember being a kid and uh, having like power outages and my parents turning on the oil lamps. Anyways, it would be basically like a, a glass, Kind of vase thing and it would have a wick at the bottom that you could turn the thing and it would you know raise, raise the wick up picture like a candle but instead of a candle it's like the oil right and when you'd light the wick and it would 
you know, that's your little lamp. That, that's before they did like, I think flashlights and all that. They didn't have that kind of stuff back in the day. So it was like an oil lamp filled with oil and you'd be very careful, obviously. And um, yeah, you'd like the wick. In. Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about oil lamps. Sorry, guys. But just seeing this gave me like, do you ever see something or smell something and it just gives you like a memory flashback? It just brought me right back to being a kid, sitting in the dark and my dad pulling out the oil lamp and we're all sitting around like the kitchen table and he's putting the oil lamp up and then we were playing cards and whatnot. Anyways. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, that probably ages me. Um, okay. So the new scent, Orchard Apple and Spice. I believe these, this was, I'm trying to think. I don't think this is part of the three pack of bars because they released a three pack of bars and then there was like the pods and the fragrance flowers. Anyways, I'll show you the flower. You gotta be very careful they're very delicate i find and a lot of people uh will color them marker them and all that and it um it's looking really pretty so there's the the flower so what it is is it's some kind of paper or wood or something and this you okay actually you know what? i'll just do it because i'm gonna go put it in I'm just gonna get rid of the boxes i'm gonna put it in my bathroom anyways so okay, so they have, if you notice, there's like notches in the, the plastic. It makes it so much easier to open. Just, uh... all right, there we go. Okay, so I took off the plastic. Hey, you know what? Give me one second. My gosh, I have the harvest fly right here. I might as well just look in it and let you know. Okay, yeah, so they released the Nightmare Before Christmas items real quick. I just want to show you. So cute. They've got some really nice warmers. Honestly, there's some that I just, mm, I really want to buy, but I'm really holding off. Like this pumpkin one is so adorable. I love the cat one. And uh, the enchanted warmer. No, yeah, the enchanted pumpkin warmer. Okay, I've been eyeballing that warmer since it was originally released as a warmer of the month. And I held off and then I felt like, you know, good about oh I you know it saved the money didn't make the purchase but then it was I always regretted it and then it got released again with this harvest collection and then it sold out so that's one of those ones that, are that just I really would like that one and where is the aha so there's all the good the goodies okay so it is part of the 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 harvest bar three pack it's the um, cranberry, pumpkin spice, orchard, apple and spice, and then toasted acorn and oak. So that's the bars. It came out in the pods. It came out in, I think, the fragrance flowers. And then the soaps is bright cider life, maple, apple, bourbon, which is a good a good one. I like that scent. And apple berry. I think that's new. Uh, fresh picked crimson apples complemented by cranberry and pomegranate. Hmm. The one there that really caught my eye was I love Bright Side of Life and they came out with the scrub and the um, the Scentsy Soak. I really want to buy it. But I have enough. I have to hold myself back. They're always going to come out with really good stuff and I'm going to want everything. And you can never buy everything. So that's just the way it is. Like this guy. He's so cute. The other guy that I really think is cute is this guy. The mayor from the Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> okay. Sorry, back to the fragrance flower. So now I know, now we all know. Should have did that originally. So I like how they have the, the name of the scent up here so you know what it is. There's a little plastic thing inside, so you just gotta pop that off. See if I can do it. Hang on, I have my scissors here. Whew, so scared I was going to spill that oil. Okay. Oh, orchard, apple, and spice. I feel like I'm not smelling much spice. Oh, yeah, a little bit of spice, but mostly apple. I feel like it's a lot of apple, a little bit of spice. I think I'm going to really like this one. <laughs> All right. So this is where this nice, shiny little thing comes in place. I believe you just go like this. You screw it in like so. You take your beautiful flower, your wick, and you just sit it in like this. So what's going to happen is, is 
the wick is going to soak up. You'll notice usually in the first two, three days, I find it soaks up quite a bit of oil because it's making its way through the rope, the material, and then up the flower and in there. And that's when you finally start smelling it. And then it goes really slow after that. Now they're supposed to last, I think, 90 days, but mine usually last about four months, I find. Sometimes, a, you know, three, four months is good. I, I would say about four months. But so I'm really excited. I'm going to have this one in my bathroom on my main floor. Um, yeah, I can't smell it through the flower yet there, but um, yeah, so that's the orchard, apple, and spice. All right, so I got one more thing, one more. I don't know. Could be more than one more. It's in here. I can't see. Oh, oh, I can feel it. feels like a bar, a wax bar, and uh, like one of those little sa sample wax cups. Usually, I find you get... Okay, in the whiff box for like, let's say September, normally you'd get a bar of the scent of the month for that month. And then you get like a little scent cup wax of the next month's scent. So fingers crossed because I haven't, I haven't smelled either. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so the scent of the month for September is Scary Good. And I read the description and it sounds delicious. It's bakery. And by the way, did you see the warmer? It's like this haunted house thing. It's so gorgeous. Oh, I wish I, wish I had a better paying job. I wish I could afford more stuff. It's so nice. Anyways, if you like Halloween, I feel like Scentsy is really killing it with the Harvest Collection, with the warmers, with the September's warmer, and even October's warmer of the month. Okay, so Scary Good. I'm super excited to smell this one because it's supposed to be like... I think it's pumpkin, butterscotch, and cinnamon. Anyways, it's not a bakery, so I hope it's good. Mmm, I smell pumpkin right off the bat. Let me just pop it out the bottom here so I can smell the other side. Mmm, I smell pumpkin. I smell spice. I smell some kind of dessert bakery. Mmm, I can't wait to melt this one. Scary good. Definitely scary good. I feel like if you like... Um, pumpkin roll and pumpkin cinnamon swirl definitely give this a try I mean it was available all um, September and I didn't get a chance to try it so you probably have and if you have let me know what you think of this one um, and if you find it similar to like um, pumpkin roll pumpkin cinnamon swirl if it gives those kind of vibes you know pumpkin bakery anyway so scary good excited about that next month okay I was on board with this scent and till I read the last scent note in the description which is it's supposed to be pumpkin something else and then like a hint of black licorice my mom loves black licorice i don't like black licorice i don't um there's a booze um zambuca um i can drink that if it's like cold 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 because i don't like the taste of black licorice but anyways i was gonna say it goes down smooth when it's really cold and anyways and i think there's another one Jägermeister, I think it is called. I remember. Anyways. Anyways, let me know if you know. But that's what kind of held me back from wanting to try fairy tale pumpkin. All right. So it's a nice, like, navy blue colored wax. Like I said, I was on board with the description until I read black licorice. So here's hoping the black licorice isn't that strong in this scent. Because if you love black licorice, then of course you're going to want a, a strong black licorice note. But if you're like me and you're not a big fan, then here's hoping it's not very strong. Oh, come on, open up. Oh. Is it blackberry pumpkin? I feel like I'm getting like a blackberry kind of vibe from this. I don't smell black licorice, but maybe I can see where. It smells like pumpkin and fruity. I'm going to melt this one and I'm going to see. I'll let you know what I what I thought of it. Um, yeah, um, maybe I can get the, the black licorice vibes, but it's not, na like, I was going to say it's not nasty because I don't like black licorice. All right, so, with box. Now, I got it with my Scentsy Club, and because my Scentsy Club order was over $80, I got it at half price, so I paid $20, right, plus taxes and shipping or whatever. But normally it's $40, and you want to make sure it's worth it if you're going to be spending $40 especially. So believe these guys are 21 Canadian so right there that $21 worth 
these are four so that would be $25 believe the pods are 13 so that's $38 these are normally $8 but they're 10% off for the month of September so that would make it what seven ten I don't know let's say seven bucks 38 plus 7 is 45 and there's still, well, I mean, there's the two flyers, there's the sample cup, but you know, it's a sample. And then there's the hand soap, which is something like, I'm hoping it's not like 11 12 $13, but it's something. Anyways, we're already at 45 plus this, I feel like it's going to bring us way over 50 for sure or at least over 50 for sure. And I feel like this is well worth it. I'm super excited I got it this month. Like I said, I, I held off all month and then you start kind of second guessing yourself. Like, oh, oh, what if it's stuff I don't like? Like, I don't have any pets, right? So if there was pet products in here, it wouldn't be good for me because I don't have pets. But I'm happy. I'm happy with everything I got. Like I said, um, the pumpkin roll, I was a little nervous about, but it's smelling good upon first sniff. So here's to hoping. And like super excited about this. I want to say my favorite item from this I'm going to say the soap just because it's the bright side of life and I love that scent, but definitely this is up there too. And then, I mean, scent of the month, which I haven't even tried yet. Scent of next month. Super exciting. This is a hit for me anyways. Uh, like I said, if you got September's whiff box, let me know if it's the same as what I got. Maybe I got the end of the month stuff and when they run out of whatever they were giving out, they kind of substitute it with other products. So I'm kind of curious to know. Let me know if you loved your whiff box as much as I did this month. And I'm just, I'm super happy. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone's having a great day wherever you are. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.